All right, lesson three, one, four, how should I graph? Um, we are now starting on very specific focus on graphs and making sure graphs look awesome. Okay, so some of you have done really good graphs. Some of you, your graphs uh, may need some work. So that's what we're going to focus on today, okay? Completing tables and drawing graphs. For today's lesson, you will either need the handout that I gave in class. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I have a hard copy of the, the document that I can, or a digital copy I can share with you. Um, for those of you remote learners, if I do, I'll add it on here. Otherwise, just a piece of graph paper should work fine. Okay, so graph paper, or if I'm able to find the, uh, a digital copy, I'll try to put that up there as well so you can just print it out, okay? But you will need that for today's lesson. Otherwise, a piece of graph paper will always work, okay? In lesson 313, you used a graphing tool to represent all the XY pairs that follow a particular rule. Now, unfortunately, we were not able to do that because we just didn't have access to all that. So we, if you notice, we skipped lesson 313 completely, okay? Today you will learn how to make your own graphs for rules and how to recognize patterns in graphs. So that, that's what we're focusing on today is making the rules and being able to follow along the entire process, okay? All right, so here we go. Problem 334, use the rule, and here's the rule. Y equals 2X plus 1 to complete parts A through C below. First, make a table like the one below and use the rule provided to complete it. Now, I'm going to work with you on this one. I'm going to help you out with this, but you've got to pay close attention here, okay? So 2x plus 1, what happens is these values here are the input, the values that go into the equation. You solve it, and you get your output. You get your out answer right there, okay? So what, let's see it right here. x is negative 4. I have y equals 2 times negative 4 plus 1. Write this down in your paper so you have it, okay? Uh, if you don't have room, you can try to write it on the side, or you might need an extra piece of paper to just show all this work on, okay? I don't want you doing this whole, I did it in my head thing, all right? I want you to try to show your work for this process to make sure you understand it. Then, order of operations, I multiply first. So 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 1. Y equals negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So when X is negative 4, Y equals negative 7. Now, I repeat the process, but this time X is negative 3. So I write the thing, right? Y equals 2 times, this time, negative 3 plus 1. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 1. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. So when X is negative 3, Y is negative 5. And I continue this process. Now if X is 2, I plug 2 into the equation. Y equals 2 times negative 2 plus 1. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 1. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So if you continue this process, you should be able to fill out this table and get your answer. So if you would please pause right now and Finish this process, finish the table. When you are done, unpause it and see if you got it right. It is really important that you do this process on your own without just following along and just copying off me because you need to know this. You need to know how to do this, okay? So this is a way to check. So pause it, do it, unpause it when you're done with the table. Go. Okay, so if you paused and did this work, here's what you should have had. This should have been negative one. This should have been 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So that is the values you should have gotten on your table. Did you? If not, try to figure out where you messed up, okay? Now letter B, examine the numbers in the table. What is the greatest X and Y values in the table? What are the two biggest numbers in the table? Well, if you notice, and for this part, you for letter B, this problem, uh, again, look at this. 314, so at the top of your page, if you were doing it on graph paper, you should have it. Um, a lot of this we're going to answer and just think about these questions as we're preparing our graph. So our biggest numbers here are 4 and 9. What are the smallest x and y values? Well, that's handy. Smallest x and y values are negative 4 and negative 7. Use this information to set up an x and y axis that are scaled appropriately. Okay, so looking at this, first thing I need to know. What quadrants do I need? Do I need all four quadrants? Do I need one quadrant? Do I need two quadrants? How many quadrants? 
Well, I should need all four quadrants. And so on my graph, I'm going to make a graph that requires all four quadrants. And I draw a line pretty much down the middle here. Now, looking at this again, look at the smallest. I've got to go to at least, I got four and I got nine. So, and then negative four and negative seven. So on the x-axis, it seems like I've got to go at least up to four. So one, two, three, four, that'll work. And then negative four, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And then on y, I need to go at least up to 10, probably 10 and negative 10. Okay, now again, here's the thing. You can go by different scales here. Look at one, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome! Hey, on my y scales, I can go all the way to negative ten down here and positive ten up here. Okay. Now, something else I'm missing. I am missing my x and y labels here. So I'm going by different scales here. Whereas this one, I'm going by ones. One, two, three, four. Here's five. On the y's, every square is worth one. On the x's, every two squares is worth one. Okay, so it's half. So I can choose a different scale here based on what I need. So here are my quadrants. Now, it says plot the points and uh, plot and connect the points on the graph. Be sure to label your axes and numbers to indicate the scale. Oh, and we did that. We did put the scale here, so we're good with that. Now I've got to plot my points. So I go here and I, and, and you've got the table so you can do it easily, but I have negative four, seven. So go to negative four and seven. Four, five, six, seven. Negative four, seven. And then basically we're gonna, oh, wrong way. We're gonna plot the point. So if you would please, oh, negative four, negative seven. I messed that one up, didn't I? Negative four, negative seven. Be right there. And if you will plot the points, please, and then, when you're done, unpause it and see if you got it right. All right, so if you paused it, you should now be following along here, and your graph should look pretty much like this. And it did say to connect the points, so we're going to go ahead and connect the points here. Look at that beautiful line, except for this, oh, I messed it up at the end there, didn't I? And I made an extra line I didn't need to. Cool, there we go. That is what your graph should look like arrow down here, arrow, Boop. okay, cool, that's what the graph should look like. Um, now, your task, your task, we're going to do, you're going to do problem 335. Um, you are going to be aware of what it asks you to do. It says 335, calculate the y values for the rule y equals negative 3x plus 1, negative 3x plus 1, now see it, it's a slightly different rule and complete the table below. I will do one of them for you, okay? One of them with you. You will then do the rest. Not only will it fill out the table, but you're gonna, look at this, examine the x and y values in the table. Is it possible that you use the same set of axes in problem 334? If so, graph it on there. If not, plot and connect a new one on a new set of axes. Well, hint, hint, on your handout, we do give you flat out a new, a, a new one. So you're going to create a new set of axes for these, okay? You're going to, you're going to do a new one and it's you're just going to have to graph it there, okay? And then answer question B and C. So you are going to answer these questions for homework today, all right? But I'm going to start you with the table. So y equals negative 3x plus 1 if x is negative 4. So y equals negative 3 times negative 4 plus 1. Negative 3 times negative 4 is 12, plus 1, which is 13. So this value here is 13. Okay? And I'm going to do one last one. I'm going to do 4. So y equals, if x is 4, negative 3 times 4 plus 1. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, plus 1 is negative 11. So there are your values. You are going to now work on creating a graph. Fill the, finish the table. Create a graph, answer these questions, A, B, and C. That is your homework. When you come to class, I expect to see this graph finished. We're going to be using this graph to answer some questions, so please make sure you do it well. Got it? All right, have a wonderful night. We'll see you later.